how to add a postgrid in wordpress free plugin hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you how you can add a postgrid in wordpress and how you can follow along step by step now we're going to be using a free plugin so you don't have to pay for anything to be able to add a free plugin to add your postgrids now postgrids can be a great way for you to display your featured blogs or featured posts and it's very essential that you have postgrids within your website if especially you're running a blog because blogs can look a bit deafening on wordpress when you are using the basic templates and those templates do not suffice for the appearance of your entire website when you are building something that needs to be updated and that needs to display featured collections and more so the first thing you have to do is click on your wordpress dashboard and once you are in your wordpress dashboard click on plugins on the bottom left then click on add new and we're going to add a new plugin over here you're just going to search for post grid and once you search for post grid in the new plugins the first icon or the first plugin that appears over here is called the postgrid shortcode gutenberg blocks elementor add-on for postgrid now i am already using elementor to build my wordpress website website but even if you are not using wordpress then even if you're not using elementor with wordpress you can still use this particular plugin so you're going to click on install now and just in a couple of seconds your plugin will be installed once your plugin is installed, simply click on activate. Now, once you click on activate, you can get started with setting up your plugin. So you will see on the left, the plugin will be added and you will see some basic settings. So in your common settings, you have the lead type, the icon, the basic, basic, you know, information. Then you have the pop-up field selection, so social share, custom script, and other settings. Now, what you're going to do is click on all grids to be able to see all of the post grids that you've created. Currently, we haven't created any, so we can click on add new grid on the left menu. Now, once you click on add new grid, you're just going to fill in the particular title. So let's say this is going to be featured posts. And then after that, you have a short code generator. Now over here in this, you can add the type of post this is. So this is going to be a post. You can include a certain type of post. This is going to depend on your WordPress blogging categories. So let's say you are going to only add things that include new arrival, something like that. You can add that as well. If you want to include all of your posts, you can just skip these filters. And then you also have advanced filters. So if you want taxonomy, categorization and tags available within your post grid now let's say i only want the category to be available and then you can add uncategorized and then you can show show posts in which associate with one of more of the selected terms or not in so show posts which do not associate with the selected terms and show posts which associate with all of the terms so this is going to be one way to filter out your posts and to only display what you want in a particular grid so let's say in one grid i only want to include blogs about cooking so i will only show the ones i will choose this operator and in this operator, I will add the category of cooking. So it will only display the items related to cooking within that particular grid. So this is going to depend on your particular categorization. Obviously, for your particular niche, your categories might be different. Maybe you're running like a travel blog and you can categorize by countries. You can categorize by the category of the post. You can categorize by cities. This just is going to be pertaining to you. Now after that you have orders. You can choose to remove the orders, but if you want to add a order, you can add by the created date and if it's ascending or descending. So descending means that it is going to be the largest order date, so that means the closest to the current date and then going back in time, which is a reverse chronological order. However, if you want to show the oldest articles first, you can choose a ascending type order. I want to show the newest first, so I will click on descending. And then after you have completed that, you're going to click on your layout settings on the top. So on your top layout settings, you have multiple dif different layout types. You have a grid, grid hover, a list, or a isotrope. Let's say I want to use a grid hover. And then you have different types of grid hovers as well. I'm going to be using the grid hover 3. Then after that, you have your column. 
So let's say I want it to be column one, column two, and column three on desktop. Then if you want your grid hover to be able to be allowed in your layout or not, then you have display per page. Let's say I want to leave nine, and then you have your link to detailed page. Now you can click on publish on the right side over here to be able to create this grid. So if we click on our all grid section over here, this grid is currently created. Now all I have to do is copy this shortcode and then I will add it to the particular post. But I'll show you guys that later on. We have a few more settings to look into. You can click on your settings section to customize the tag, style, and alignment, as well as the title. Then you also have a field selection and then a style. So the parent color that you want to choose, as well as the parent class, the button color, let's say it's going to be this. This is going to be our background. So I'm going to make it slightly lar lighter like this over here. And then I can add a hover background, a text color. So let's choose a color like this for our text, like so. And then after that, you have your short code heading and more, more font styles or more data styles that you can add. Now I'm going to click on update over here. And after you have updated your grid, you can add the code again to be able to see the updated features available on your grid. So it's going to take a couple of seconds for our grid to be updated and then we will insert our grid into our WordPress page. Now you're going to go into all grids over here, click on your shortcode and click on copy. Then simply go to pages on the left side and open up the page in which you want to add your particular post grid. Let's say I just want to add it to my basic home page. So I'll click on edit over here or I can click on my about or sample page. So I'm going to click on edit with Elementor or you can edit with your normal WordPress editor as well. Now you will see over here on the left, you will have multiple different types of layouts available. You can see the TPG grid layout and I can just drag and drop this over here and choose the layout that I want. Click on this layout and you will see the section has been added. Currently, I don't have any blog posts. That's why it doesn't have any blogs to show. However, once you start adding your blogs, you will be able to see all of them appear. I can move this up as well, and I can also build queries over here. Now, if you don't have the Elementor website editor, you can always go into your basic editor on Elementor, uh, your basic Elementor on WordPress, and you can add it from there with the short code. Let's say I go into the basic version over here and I want to add something different so I can scroll down on the pro plan and then I have the short code option. Now in the short code option, I can just paste my short code and then you will see the same grid is appearing, the one that we just created, which is which was our featured posts grid. So you can add grids in the short code way or you can directly build them on your Elementor editor. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I'll catch you guys in the next video.